Hi, and welcome to another episode of Races Around the World. This week, it's lockdown, week 10. It's a bank holiday weekend here in the UK. We're here on Biker Bridge because we're going to explore and continue our Oosburn adventures by looking at the pubs in the Oosburn Valley. Number one, Biker Bridge, the Tanner's Arms. Award-winning food, burgers, dogs, beer, and Sunday roasts. The gateway to the Oosburn. Arch 2, brew, pub and kitchen, built under the arches of Biker Bridge, which is directly above us. From Newcastle Brewing Limited, it has a bar and tap room, a covered beer garden, which is handy for when it's windy like this. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, okay, we'll try again. A microbrewery and also an Indian street food kitchen, all on site. Normally this area would be jam-packed on a bank holiday weekend, as all the bars allow outdoor seating, outdoor drinking. Remember to stay home and stay safe though, folks. We'll soon be able to enjoy the pubs again. Pubs like the Ship Inn. First mentioned in trade directories in 1827. That's pretty old. It now stands alone. However, it used to be part of a row of terraced houses and they were home to 77 people. Today it is an excellent vegetarian and vegan restaurant. There's Oosburn Farm there, featured in one of our previous blogs. And directly opposite the Ship Inn is the Clooney Bar and Kitchen. It's a listed Grade 2 building, opened in 1848, is a flax spinning mill. It was designed by the famous North Eastern architect John Dobson is now famous for its beers as well as being one of the North East's premier music and gig venues. I've played here many times myself. It's my claim to fame, perhaps. <laughs> How are you doing everybody? Fabulous. We're going to leave being down in the Oosburn Valley and we're going to head up these stairs to the next pub. There are many pubs in the Oosburn, including the Ship Inn, the Free Trade, Brinkburn Street Brewery, Full Circle Brewery, Tyne Bank, Kiln, amongst others. The Cumberland Arms, known affectionately by locals as the Cumbie Arms and the Cumberland. Today it's also a bed and breakfast as well as hosting performances and annual beer festivals. Now that's windy. <laughs> uh, the Cumberland Arms didn't actually get its spirit license until 1956 which means it was always destined to be a beer house.
one of the latest additions to the drinking scene in Uthman, the old coal yard from Northern Alchemy. Hi. Yeah, just, just filming a vlog. Cheers! Uh.